Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Chris and welcome back to my channel where I help people figure things out doing how to or just anything digital marketing, the internet. Um, I'm completely obsessed and I'm just kind of a tech geek. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download a recording in StreamYard. So chances are you're using StreamYard and you're just trying to figure out how to like record your screen and then download it because this is a really easy tool to use. StreamYard is awesome. Again, if you're, um, let's just deep dive into it. So what I want to do is I want to share my screen. So we are going to go to google.com and we are going to go to StreamYard. We're going to search for it. So what we will do is we're going to click on StreamYard. So first what I want to do is I want to, I want to click on pricing because first I want to tell you guys, uh, some of you guys might be looking for the recording, uh, the recording feature while on the free plan and it does not come with the free plan. Let me show you what's up. So for the free plan, what happens is they use like a little watermark logo on your videos. And a lot of times um, you don't want those watermarks because it'll be like in the corner of the screen, like right here or something or over here. And it says it's a stream yard and you're like, well, I'm cool with that. But anyways, uh, a lot of times what happens is when you when you get these better versions of the stream yard, like the there's three versions here. The most popular one is at twenty five dollars a month. And um, what happens is what we're looking for here is this feature right here, pre recorded streams. And what this means is this is this gives you the ability to record the streams and then download them to edit them, to chop them, whatever. It's a really cool feature and I love it. Um, uh, what really sucks though is the twenty five dollar a month feature or plan doesn't have 1080p. So if you go over to this professional plan at the very bottom here, it says full HD 1080p, which is kind of a huge deal when it comes to streaming. If you want my honest opinion, uh, just letting you know that. So, um, me personally, I pay for the $50 a month, um, because it's, it's awesome. I love StreamYard. And again, um, I'll throw a link in the description box if you want to sign up through my link and, um, it is what it is. If not, that's cool. So what we want to do here is I want to share my screen again. What we want to do is we want to get back into the studio. I want to show you how to do this because that's what the video is on after all. So how to download recordings in StreamYard. Um, so what we want to do is we want to click on broadcast right here. And again, that's already clicked on there, that tab. And you can see we are live recording this right now. So how to download recordings in StreamYard. That's what we are in. I'm literally using this right now. I'm going to take a sip of Mountain Dew. Hmm. Ah, getting jacked on the Mountain Dew, right, guys? All right, back to the back to what we're doing here. So we are in StreamYard, and what we want to do is we want to click on Create because we are creating a new video slash stream. And right here, it asks you, uh, do you want to do a live stream or a recording? Obviously, we want to click on a recording because that's what we are going to be doing. Um, we have to title it. I'm going to call it my awesome video. So we're going to create recording. And we're going to wait a second here. It's going to kind of load up the dashboard. Uh, pro tip, up to 10 people can join, which is really cool. I think that's awesome. Uh, a person could use this and then edit it later. It's really helpful. So this kind of gives you, it lets you set up your camera. Uh, if you go into your settings, it's going to allow you to like use the virtual background. You can use green screens. You can use hotkeys, uh, audio, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. I really love this. So then what you want to do is you want to enter the studio. So then... Um, we are going to enter the studio. And again, once you're in here, you can choose to like present a certain screen. You can choose, uh, extra cameras. You can choose to add other slides, video files from Google drive, all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm going to share a screen. Um, what can I share here? I'll share this YouTube thing right here. Um, yeah, you can literally see I'm uploading onto YouTube using this, how to record in StreamYard. See, it's literally that easy. So then what we want to do is we want to click record. So if we click record, it asks you the definition. If you, I'm in 1080, which I highly advise because it, uh, we live in the year of 2022 and you want to be in 20, uh, 1080. So then you click record, right? And then um, this is going to be my actual recording. I hope it doesn't get all crazy because I'm in another recording. So what we want to do is um, we are recording right now. You can see here this little ticker. It says live for 10 seconds. Okay, so then we are going to come over here and we're going to end recording. Does this make sense, guys? It's up in the right-hand corner. End recording. And then you have to click that. 
And then here's the magic sauce. It takes kind of a minute to kind of render your video. It asks you to review the video. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to return to the dashboard, right? Then we're going to try to find this video that we literally just got, we just got done making. And we got to remember the title because that's how we're going to find it. So we're going to click on the past because it's done. So here it is. Awesome video. This has been ended. And we're going to click on these three dots over here on the right. And we're going to download recordings. This is how you download them. You can share it. Um, StreamYard allows you to like have a like a, a, a drive on here and just have so much space. You can see in the left-hand corner, I have 3.2 uh, 50 hours recording storage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete this just because I don't need it, but that just shows you you can delete the, re the recording or the broadcast. Um, you're going to permanently delete this? Yes. So um, hopefully that helps you get an idea of how to download recording in your StreamYard. It's super simple. Um, again, guys, if you want to hit up the, the links in the description, uh, if not, please subscribe to the channel. Just help me. It means nothing to you guys. It means everything to me. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado, guys, uh, you got to hit up the comments. Let me know. Did this help you? I will see you in the next one, I guess. All right. Thanks.